Well, here's my biomass gasifier burning away. It's uh, really cooking today. I've made some changes since the last time I posted videos um, to YouTube of it. Um, the most obvious one is this big burner I've built up on top because uh, I could not get the flame to keep burning just shooting out of the uh, exhaust pipe of the thing. The wind kept blowing it out. So I built this burner and uh, th it holds the flame even through pretty heavy gusts. So I'm very happy about that. I've also built a manifold here to enclose all of the air inlets. And the reason I do that is because now I'm, I'm feeding it shop air. Rather than using a pump to draw air through the gasifier, I'm pushing air through, compressed air through from a workshop air here. And down here is the, uh, the regulator I'm using. There's the air hose going back to the workshop. And then a little regulator and a valve there for controlling the amount of air going through the gasifier. And this works wonderful. I mean, I get a much higher flow through it than I could trying to use a pump to uh, pull air through it. And uh, I've also made changes inside uh, the the reduction section, I've increased the size of the reduction section to try and reduce the tar production and that seems to have helped a lot. Uh, this is not really producing very much tar at all. Um, there's just a little bit little bit coming out around the, the top of the exhaust pipe there, but nothing like it was. I mean, it used to just run out. So, um, vast improvement there. Now, a lot of people write me and say, you know, you still can't pipe this gas into an engine. It's still got too much tar. You're going to wreck the engine. And I know that. Um, before I would pipe this gas into an engine, I would run it through a, a filtration or, or scrubbing process to get it completely clean. So yeah, um, that's coming. I'm, I'm working on a design for a scrubber for it. But uh, I wanted to greatly reduce the amount of tar it was producing before I even got to that stage. And I think I've, I think I've achieved that. It's, it, it really works very well now. Very little tar being produced and it produces a huge volume of gas for a very small unit. As you can see, I mean, it's only a five gallon drum. And uh, the, uh, the, inner, the inner tube is only a little over six inches in diameter. So, or not even six inches, the four and three quarters inches in diameter. So, you know, it's a small unit, but it's producing a huge volume of gas. So I'm very happy about that. It's, it's working great and uh, couldn't be much more pleased with it. So it's coming along. It's cool. The reflection of the window, you can really see the uh, the flame, even though it's it's fairly bright out here during the day. So that's cool. Uh, I'll have to come back and get another night shot of it sometime. Anyway, there's progress report on the gasifier. It's it's really coming along. Now here I've really cranked the gasifier up. I think you can hear it roaring. It's it's really putting out a huge volume of gas right now. And the heat from that burner is just amazing. And as you can see, i got a storm rolling in. And I'm getting some pretty good wind gusts, but the wind is just not blowing out the, the burner. So this is, this is great. I've got a way to flare off the gas now that doesn't get blown out every three or four seconds by a gust of wind. So this is, this is really great. Um, I'm really happy with the volume of gas it's producing. I mean, I, this would produce this would power a huge engine, even though it's a small package. Very happy with it. Here's a close-up of the burner I made. Uh, basically, it's just a tin can with a lot of holes drilled in the bottom to let air in, and a hole to go in the out over the outlet pipe there. And on top, it's just a, it's a stainless steel uh, vegetable steamer that you probably have in your kitchen. And that's just to diffuse the gas and, and block the wind from going into it. And this really works well as a, as a burner or flame holder. Um, I mean, this thing was producing good gas, but I just could not get it to light coming straight out of the pipe. And uh, since I put this burner on it, the wind has not blown the flame out once, even though it's been gusting pretty good today. So I'm really happy with the burner. Very happy with it.